from the site that many call the loudest in the NFL. We are inside GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. And here's Lewis. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. now on first down eluding the pressure right he gets this to Devontae Adams and he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45 yard line Rodgers now on first down escaping the pressure right throw right side this is into the hands of the tight end Tunyon and taking it across midfield and inside the 45 First and ten, here's Rodgers, buying time to his left. And the Chiefs are going to get him. They get him that time thanks to the safety blitz as he sank for a loss of four. Oh, my goodness, was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. Play action. It's Rodgers. Out to his left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. And it appears they'll go for it here on fourth down. A big call on the game's opening drive. Here we go on fourth down with Rodgers. To the sideline, and he's got it. They say the feet are down. Yes, the line judge says they're in. That'll be a first down. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll get about five here, so he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. Second and five now. Rodgers. This one swung out here to Jones. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. First and goal. A chance for an early statement here on the road. Now Jones. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the 5 to the 3. So the ball position now at the 3. Here's second and goal. Jones again. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. About a half yard from the end zone, third and goal. Now Rodgers. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And it's a Packers touchdown. Mercedes Lewis. Excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Packers take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Rodgers will throw for it. Forced out to his left. It's caught. And it's 8-0. So what do you make of that? You go on the road, you score the opening drive touchdown, opt to go for two, and all of a sudden they're up eight zip. Yeah, this wasn't a decision that they made right here and right now. They made this decision during the week. Hey, if we get the ball and score right away, let's show them that we feel like we're superior. Go for two and really put the pressure on them. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Oh, 
Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Flushed out right. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that is incomplete. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. Mahomes will try again on second down. They're going deep for Hill. And that's caught inside the 35. That ain't ready to go. All the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 74 yards. And the Chiefs are a two-point conversion away from tying this thing up. Andy Reid never one to shy away from taking chances. He'll go for two. And here's Edwards Alaire. And he'll get in to tie this game at eight. Well, it's definitely early enough here. They didn't need to go for two. They didn't have to go for two, but hey, they did. We're all tied at eight. Is this one of those anything you can do, I can match? <laughs> because that's exactly what we got on that one. Neither one of these teams wants to give any ground, do they? And here's Lewis. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. Right there. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, you don't want to coach him, Charles, to stay in the pocket on every play, but I guess that's the danger of getting outside of the pocket, extending a play and making a bad throw. Turns into six points the other way. Yeah, sometimes when you get outside the pocket, your, your vision actually gets obscured a little bit or you narrow it down too much and you don't see all the defenders in the area. And here's Edwards Alaire. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. And he is going to be stopped short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches. And the two-point attempt is turned aside. And here's Lewis. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. offense ready to get their next drive underway and they just had that pick six I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown this offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for it I like that because now it doesn't give them a chance to go to the bench and really settle you know to sit there and kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously right back out there it's almost like hopping right back on the bike after falling over see if they can get the ball moving again we'll see if they can do it here and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Rodgers going to throw. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. On second down now, it's Jones. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. To throw is Rodgers. A check down here to Jones. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. So now first and ten in Chiefs territory at the 49-yard line. Now it's Rodgers. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Rodgers. He hits Adams complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 32-yard line. 
I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. Well, he's been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They stopped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. Oh, trying to get that to Adams, but that's intercepted. Picked off at the 14, and the return will stop right around the 25. You don't see this often, a quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off, his biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's a big play there for the Chiefs. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now here's Mahomes. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And the Packers are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. I know some teams are leery about playing cover, too, because the strong safety is not usually a terrific cover. But in this case, he played it perfectly. Read the football and went and made the interception. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most... And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Rodgers now to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And he's taken down, a cheap sack. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They're going to try and throw. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Finding room to the 20, and he's all the way down to the 13-yard line. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. But from the four, this is second down and one. To throw, it's Mahomes rolling to his right. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes taking it in from four yards out. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes it 21-8. to Now, 
after the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. And here's Lewis. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. offense ready to get their next drive underway and last time this unit was out here costly turnover and then that turned into six and Rodgers is gonna go down he sacked they come up on second and long and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon another try after the first down sack Rodgers flush to his right caught right side it's Lewis Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. The offense going to stay out there. They've converted once, failed once. What can they do here on fourth down? And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. Looking deep for Adams. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Eluding the pressure right. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. To throw, it's Rodgers. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. The kick by Crosby is good, and that gets him back within 10. Well, not the best first half facing this deficit, but at least they did put three on the board before half. Yeah, it's a little bit like that stormy, cloudy day, and the sun peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in the second half. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Packers pick it up. And he brings it back. Can you believe it? And all Offensive disaster on the final play of the first half. They just had to hold on to the ball. Now that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You, know, you force the fumble, think you got a chance at a turnover, and instead, not only do you give up the football, you also give up a touchdown as well. Yeah, you just think to yourself, you've done all the hard work, right? You force the fumble, but when they didn't come up with it, I think they relaxed a little bit or maybe lost their focus as well and end up turning out to be a touchdown against them. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. 
And Charles, they've got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, if there were three talking points at the half, partner, all of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly hoped on it, but I think they told them, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, you've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, when you've got a tight end who can run, you've got to give him a shot to unlock the defense. Want to see what they can get taking the big shot downfield. That one winds up incomplete. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And this is caught inside the five. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Demarcus Robinson, 54 yards. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And here's Lewis. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Rodgers throw complete here on target to Tunyon. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now a play fake. Rodgers. They'll roll him out right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Josiah DeGuara, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual know, for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. First down carry by Jones. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones, 27 yards. And the Packers are back with it a score. So now Rodgers will lead the Packers up to go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. On first and 10, here's Mahomes being chased out left. Completes it to Hardman. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw into the hands here of Hardman. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. 
That's out to Hill, no. right side complete. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes finding Tyreek Hill. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. Butker now to add the extra point. Oh, and it's no good. He tugged it wide left, and that will keep our score right where it is. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And here's Lewis. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. It takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. Here's Rodgers. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. Usually, catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Here's second and 10. On play action, now Rodgers. And he wisely will throw that one away. And my initial thought was that maybe he was just trying to blindly throw this one away, and maybe he was, but he's going to get away with it because as he tried to throw it over the left sideline there, there's a receiver right there in the area. It's a no grounding call. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They're going to line up to go for this on fourth down. Rodgers stays on the field. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. Looking deep for Adams. Here's a diving catch right side. A big connection on that one. 32 yards. And you need a big play? Go to your big play guy. Listen, that's football 101. When you have to have it, you expect that guy to step up. A lot of people call these receivers divas. Sometimes just leadership when they get in the huddle and say, get me the ball. I'm about to make a big play. Dancing to his left. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Rodgers again here on second and ten. Caught on the right side by Jones. An agile move, but not a huge gain. Dropped at the 25. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. And that's complete to Adams. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Second down, back to Edwards Alaire. Room here to run. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. There he goes, left side. Past the 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, 61 yards. And the 
the Chiefs use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. And here's Edwards Alaire. And he is into the end zone again. So get him some oxygen. He scores on the long run and then punches in the two point conversion for good measure. Now, after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And here's Lewis. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. On first down, Rodgers escaping the pressure right, and he'll just get rid of it. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Chiefs are going to get it. Chris Jones able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good game. Under pressure, they got him again. Chris Jones giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel oh. so, I could pay the, so I could pay the proper okay, price. Okay, how much were they? <laughs> how much were they? Uh, 15 cents. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They've got a chance now to put this game away following that last defensive stop and punt. Here's Edwards Alaire as they will start on the ground. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations would be extra defenders in the box coming after him, trying to keep... This is intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And it's a terrific return here as he's going to have him set up with a first and goal right at about the six-yard line. And when he went on the move there and started rolling out, I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly, intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into one. That may have been the case there, and the defense certainly benefited. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Now Rodgers. Flushed out right. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Now this likely a must-have. Third and goal. Here's Rodgers to throw. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked off inside the 10. And he'll be stopped shy of the 15 at the 14-yard line on the return. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth-quarter lead. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Brought down around the 16 or 17. Showed some tough running, but couldn't free much space. Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Mahomes going to throw it here. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. Well, they're not making it easy on themselves here down the stretch. Two picks now in the fourth quarter, trying to hang on to that lead. Talk about keeping someone in the game. 
instead of being able to shut the door, it's still cracked open because they can come back on you now. The only people are really happy about those picks, any fantasy team that has this defense. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off right around the 43. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And this one is incomplete. There's a reason the number four was flashing through my mind when he let that one go. Three touchdowns already in his back pocket. The deep ball's been a great weapon for him in this one. Unfortunately, empty on that attempt. Mahomes again here on second and ten. That to his running back, Edwards Alaire. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Jair Alexander. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 30. And he finally is out of bounds, but he's down inside the 20-yard line. It's a big play there for Green Bay. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty And my goodness, another interception. Picked off inside the 10. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Steps away to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Interesting, Mahomes wants to throw it. Sliding out of the pocket. To the right side, it's Kelsey. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 77 yards. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill. But remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he is not going to get to the goal line. And for the first time here this afternoon, they are thwarted on the two-point conversion. This one travels out of bounds, so unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Throwing now is Rodgers. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. He's going to let it fly. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Mike 